Hey guys, um, Bart here. So um, today is a beautiful day because um, yeah, three days ago I bought a Schaublin uh, mill and a lay. Uh, the Schaublin uh, 102 VM uh, lay and uh, Schaublin 13 mil. Uh, really happy about that, <laughs> yeah, for sure. They're both beautiful machines and, uh, and a perfect combination, uh, at least for me. Um, so I'm really happy and today I'm gonna pick them up. Uh, as you can see it's uh, beautiful Dutch weather. Um, but uh, I hope that uh, rain will stop and uh, well, nonetheless, uh, I'm gonna pick them up. And I'm happy to bring them home and start working on them. Um, they both need quite a lot of work or especially the mill, it's co taken completely apart uh, so that needs to be restored but I think it will be a nice project for the next few months uh, or at least I hope it will be a few months but we'll see about that um, so I'll keep you updated about the mill and the lay but uh, yeah first today let's uh, bring them home all right So hey guys, I'm still driving, uh, picking up went well, it took a little bit more time than I expected, but I've got the mill and the lay in the car, and, and uh, I left this morning around 10 and it's now almost 9 in the evening, so it was a long day, a long ride, uh, but I'm almost home, so uh, next thing to do is uh, get them off the out of the car and um, put everything in the in the workshop. Um, so yeah, uh, got the lay in the mill almost home. So uh, really happy. Yeah. So guys, after a long day of work, I got all the parts home, um, so I'm really happy. The Schaublin twins are home. Um, I got the, the lay at, and uh, the base of the mill at the, the workshop and I got the smaller parts here. It's a small workshop closer to my home, uh, small parts like this, so I can work on them in the evening. 
Um, so now that all the parts are home, I can start the restoration project. Uh, the project will be that I will uh, focus first on the mill. Um, the lay is working, so I will leave that as it is right now. Um, but the mill is taken completely apart. I hope all the parts are complete and I hope in good condition, especially the bearings of course. Um, but yeah, it looks good. Um, and uh, yeah, I will keep you updated about that. Uh, the restoration project uh, it will be a, a long project, but uh, yeah, I want to do it correct and do it good. Um, because I think also the, the quality of this these machines will deserve uh, some good restoration uh, and I will do my best um, but in this process uh, I will also ask for some help uh, from you guys um, because uh, I think uh, yeah together we can uh, <laughs> can do this uh, better um, so I'll ask about a few tips and the first uh, uh yeah question i have for you maybe you can help me with is um about the paint removal because the plan is to take off all the paint um because maybe you can see but the paint is not in really good condition and um yeah i want to clean uh, uh clean all the parts and uh repaint it um and because there are too many layers, I want to completely remove all the paint. Uh, at least that's the plan. Um, but I'm not sure yet about how to remove it. Maybe, uh, yeah, um, I don't want to sandblast it because some parts still have bearings in them. So that's a no-go for me. Maybe use some chemicals. But yeah, I'm not sure how that will work out. Um, and... Uh, uh, maybe just uh, good old-fashioned sandpaper or use a air-powered needle scaler. Yeah, I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah, maybe you have some good ideas about this. So uh, yeah, let me know. Um, and if you want to follow the restoration project, then uh, yeah, please subscribe, subscribe or uh, comment. All right. So uh, see you next time, guys. Bye.